Hello everyone. I'm Linda Almeida, assistant professor at Don Bosco College of Engineering, Patoda, Goa. In this video, we are going to learn about lasers. The topics which I'm going to cover are introduction to lasers, second, properties of lasers, third, applications of lasers, and fourth, interaction of radiation with matter from quantum mechanical point of view. Let's begin with the introduction. The word laser is an acronym for light amplification through stimulated emission of radiation. Actually, laser is not, is not a simple amplifier of light, but a generator of light. It is an artificial light source. A laser produces a highly directional, coherent, monochromatic, polarized light beam. T. H. Maiman built the first laser device in 1960. Then in 1961, A. Javan developed the first gas laser, that is helium neon laser. Laser is a high technology device and a tool used in wide variety of fields such as industrial applications, metal working, entertainment, for communication, for medical purposes, in surgery, defense applications, for, as weapon guidance in war. So see the laser beam characteristic. The important characteristics of laser beam are as follows. The first one is directionality. A conventional light source, that is for example bulb or a tube light, emits light uniformly in all directions. A laser emits light only in one direction. Now it is unidirectional, whereas conventional light sources are multidirectional. It is because the laser light propagates along the axial direction and emerges out from the cylindrical resonant cavity and becomes a laser beam. Thus, a laser emits light only in one direction. Next, next we'll see is divergence. Next property. The light from a conventional source is spread out in the form of spherical wavefront and hence it is highly divergent. Whereas in case of laser, there is a very small divergence which is due to the diffraction of the beam at the exit mirror. And it is very small. For example, in case of helium neon laser, the divergence is 10 raised to minus 3 radians. Next we'll see is the intensity. The intensity of light from a conventional source decreases very rapidly with the distance as it spreads out in space. Whereas a laser emits light in the form of a narrow beam with its energy concentrated in small region of space. Therefore, the beam intensity is very large and stays constant with distance. Next is coherence. The light from a conventional light source is many short wave trains combined together. Hence, the resultant light is incoherent. Whereas, in case of laser, there are large number of identical photons are emitted through stimulated emission. And all these photons are in phase with each other. And hence, the laser light emits a high degree of coherence. Next is monochromacity. A laser consists of a single wavelength. It is highly monochromatic. Whereas all the other common sources like for example tube light or a bulb, they emit light in the form of many different wavelengths. You see the applications of laser. There are many applications of laser. 
The first one is industrial application. Welding, micro welding. The laser welding can be done even at difficult places, which are very difficult to reach. Carbon dioxide laser is used here. The focused laser beam is incident on a spot where the two parts are to be welded. The spot contact melts and gets welded. This is specially used in welding thin sheets or foils. Micromachining, that is called as drilling. A very small hole uh, can be made in hard or soft material. For example, steel, diamond, iron, rubber, etc. Razor drilling does not require a physical drill bit. Drilling by a laser is very fast, about 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. It is very precise and there is no physical contact of the tool with the material. Hence, there is no temperature change in the sample to be drilled. As a result, there is no, uh, uh, no change in the uh, structure of the material. Next we'll see is cutting. A wide range of materials can be cut by using carbon dioxide lasers. The materials include paper, wood, cloth, glass, cord, steel, ceramic, etc. Laser cutting is fine and precise and with no contamination. It is automatic and the production rates are very high. Next we see is measurement. Lasers are used to take accurate measurements. This is a small measuring tape which I am having in my place at my home. It is a measuring tape with a laser line generator. The moment you press a button here, the laser, you will get a laser, red laser line here which helps to take the measurement accurately. Next we'll see is holography. Now holography is a technique of recording and reproducing an image of an object without the use of lenses. A 3D image of an object is seen when the record is illuminated. A permanent record of the interference pattern on the recording medium is called hologram. It is widely used in cinemas, films, 3D photography, microscopy, acoustical holography, etc. The next we'll see is chemical applications. It is possible to do any chemical reaction on selective basis. That is because we can control the intensity and the narrowness and monochromacity of the laser. A laser is possible to join or to break a single molecular bond and thus create a new chemical compound. Lasers are widely used for defense applications. A laser beam is used in precise measurement, precision measurement of distance, thickness, angles, and velocities. It is having very high intensity and thus useful in tracking the satellites and in guiding missiles onto the enemy targets. Next we'll see is the medical application. Lasers are used in treating detached retina. In this case, argon laser is used. It is used to focus on the desired point on the retina. The green beam of the argon laser is strongly absorbed by the red blood cells of the retina and this causes the thermal effect which weld the retina back to the eyeball. In this way, we can treat the detached retina. Next is the cataract operation can be performed by using lasers. A laser cataract surgery is also called as relax that is refractive laser assistant cataract surgery. 
it is an advanced type of cataract surgery with a high level of precision and accuracy. The cataract occurs when the natural lens of the eye becomes cloudy and obstructs vision to blindness. The surgeon makes a small conical incision and opens the lens with the laser. The laser then softens the cataract, which is then removed by using ultrasound probe. Lasers are used in destroying kidney stones and gallbladder stones. The optical fiber is used to reach the stone and the laser pulse breaks the stone into small pieces and then this is then passed to the ureter without pain. In this case, turnable dye lasers are used. Laser canes and specs assist the blind. The laser cane has a three diode lasers. One laser beam directing downward, the second one upward, the third one straight ahead. The distance is sensed by vibration of the handle and the obstacle level is indicated by the pitch of vibration. There are many other applications of laser. Nowadays, laser printers are very common. The printers, printouts are taken with the laser printer, printers. The lasers are also used to cut in commercial garment industries. Laser video and audio can store more than 80,000 separate images on each side of compact disc. Scientific applications. It can be used to find the velocity of light accurately. It can be used to find the velocity of moving objects, that is liquid flow by using Doppler effect based on the Doppler effect. Lasers are used in nuclear fusion. It is very useful in Raman spectroscopy.